It's official, Eric Bailey becomes Jose Mourinho's first Manchester United signing. Now, this was first reported on Wednesday and this was by Spanish journalists and media. I think it was Spanish, yeah. And then within five days, we've signed him. The English media didn't have a clue until Spain reports came out. So it's another one of these signings, a bit like Martial, that no one just knew about. So anyway... Um, he's six foot two, uh, six foot one or two. Uh, I know that he's a centre back. He's twenty two. He's very very strong. He's aggressive. He's brave and he's not afraid of a tackle. He's good in the air and he's pacey. Now his downside, according to a lot of Spanish experts, is his decision making. Sometimes he's a bit rash. And uh, that's to be expected. I'm not worried about that. I reckon Jose Mourinho will easily be able to nurture him if he has as much potential as a lot of Spanish experts say. Then I'm sure Jose Mourinho will be able to unlock that. He's had some very good games. Obviously, he's made some mistakes. However, Sky Sports showed that Fernando Torres won, for example. But he's raw. He's 22. He's young. He played for Villarreal, who did very well last season. He was the replacement for Gabriel Palasta, who went to Arsenal, obviously. So... And we'll see what happens with that. But, you know, I'm, I'm excited. It's a, it's a centre-back that no one really knows too much about. But we've signed other centre-backs that no one knows, such as Nemanja Vidic. And he's turned out very, very well. Obviously, that's like the best of the best. So we'll have to wait and see how he develops. But I'm confident Mourinho usually can pick out good young centre-backs. You look at Rafael Varane, you look at Kurt Zuma for Chelsea... He's got a good record of doing so. So I'm excited and I reckon Jose Mourinho can eradicate the problems with his decision making and things like that. Like He seems as though, as I say, he's a bit rash. He picks up a number of cards, uh, red cards as well. But I think there was a stat, I should have double checked this before, but I think it's to do with take-ons. And uh, he... He got um, like taken on less than any other defender in La Liga. Like um, not too many got past him because he tackled them or, or fouled them sometimes. But yeah, still that's incredible when you think Godin, Pique, Sergio Ramos, all of these defenders are in La Liga, and uh, he he had the least amount of take-ons against him. So you know there, there's definitely potential, and I'm excited. And I do not think this is going to be our only defensive signing. Man United posted five facts about Eric Bailey and in the last one it said that he can play right back. So I would imagine he will play right back quite a bit because I do think we're going to get another experienced centre back. I don't know who, but I think Daly Blinn's days is playing centre back are certainly over. I don't expect him to be sold because our squad depth isn't like amazing. So I reckon he'll be a rotational option that may occasionally play in defence but will mostly play CDM or left back when he gets a game. But I think he'll be rotational. Uh, obviously Smalling, he, he's, he's one of our centre backs. He's like the only one we've got who's actually performed last season as a default centre back. So I think he'll be safe under Jose Mourinho, six foot four as well, and Mourinho likes his tall defenders. But I think we'll get one more because we'll we'll need three centre backs, like default centre backs that can actually do a job. And Eric Bailey looks as though he's going to be one. Chris Smalling another. So we'll 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 see if we do sign another one. But for now, this is our first signing. And uh, it's very early. The transfer market has not opened as a lot of clubs have been doing their transfer business early anyway. So we'll see what happens. See if we can get another one wrapped up before the Euros. Um, in my transfer rumours slash roundup, which I'll bring out later today, I'll talk about the, the Zlatan uh, latest reports as well as other things, obviously. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.